So what are the most important issues or the enduring truths that you've learned in your career that you could pass on to the next generation? The most enduring truth, and I, I've said this before, I've actually even written about this in, in some PR traits. There's a term in PR called perception is reality. Uh, it's a very common term and people believe it. The thinking behind the term is that uh, it doesn't matter the truth, it matters how people perceive the truth and that is something I've always sort of had an issue with. My, my feeling is reality is reality and you can't change reality and we in public relations can't change reality. So what we have to do is work with reality, the truth, we have to tell the truth, we have, but we always have to remember that, that the truth and reality do not change. So that is an enduring thing and uh, I think that uh, when we deal with young, when we treat, uh, when we teach and, and train young people, uh, I think that's the thing that I've always had to remind people that at least when you're working with me, we are not going to deviate from the truth too much. I mean, and I don't want to say too much, but we are not going to, um, we are not going to deviate from what we know is reality. The facts are the facts and they won't change and we can't plead ignorance and we can't give ourselves that out. Where some people I think in the field feel that that you can play with factual data and uh, create perceptions that may not be fair and I don't agree with that. So our last question, and briefly put, the Arthur W. Page Center at Penn State is committed to fostering integrity in public relations. Would you uh, suggest a few ways that the program like this could be made even more effective than how it is today? I don't know much about the, the center to know what it should be doing, but from what I know, uh, what's, what's being done right now, the, the lecture series and, and this, having the center here on site, having uh, a program, having a, uh, Dr. Parsons uh, take responsibility for his part of the program, uh, the whole Don Davis School. Uh, is just, uh, it, it's a great statement and it's really good to give students access to ethical training and, and they cause them to start thinking of these ethical questions before they get out into the, into the real world. Uh, what I took when I was in college, I took journalism and I took speech. And, and when I took speech class, it wasn't public speaking so much, it was argument and debate. Uh, it, so my fellow classmates uh, in, our, in my speech major were pre-law majors and in the course of that major we argued ethical questions and we were always dealing with ethical issues. It wasn't an ethics major but ethics came up quite a bit. I didn't really tap what I learned in college on the speech side of my major until I was probably in my 30s because that's when I rose up, that's when I became a vice president, that's when I became a leader in various account teams, that's when senior managers were asking me for advice. And all of a sudden, the training I had back in college where, I, where I, we argued ethical issues in my speech and debate classes, all of a sudden that started to kick in. And it still applies. So I would say if you learn ethics in college, you may not need that to get your first job and you may not use it when you're working as an assistant account executive somewhere when someone only wants you to do what we would call grunt work, uh, putting mailing lists together and, and um, uh, helping set up special events. But as you progress in your career, if you took a good ethical curriculum and in college, when you're a vice president, when you're in your late 20s and 30s and, and you start to really move to become a senior public relations professional, you'll be amazed at how you, you might even go back to your books uh, that, you, that you had in college and start using them as reference guides for the situations you'll face uh, when you start to progress in your career. Great. Well, on behalf of the Arthur Page Center, we want to thank you for the time that you've given us and the insights. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was good to be here.